Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue our conversation about media pitching. Um, you can check out the entire series. It was only going to be three videos. Now it's like turned into six because everybody had questions. Um, and so make sure that you check them all out if you would like. Uh, my name is Nikki Woods. I am a media veteran. I've been in radio and TV a really long time. And now I help entrepreneurs and influencers get the media that they want so they are making the money that they deserve and so it is all about the media and the money to me um, and it all begins with a successful pitch so there are some things um, that you can do that will send your pitch sideways really really quickly and i want to talk about that and so um, it's really important that you um you kind of get this right the first time because if you don't you could essentially burn a bridge with a journalist or um, a media professional. So you want to make sure that you're kind of putting your best foot forward and I am going to help. So the first thing is, is remember that it's not about you, right? So remember the audience just because it's, it's interesting to you or it's something that's fascinating for your company or it's huge for your brand. That does not mean that the media, I mean that the audience uh, of the media outlet is going to care about it. So even if you do want to talk about something interesting with your company, make sure that you find the value in it for the audience and lead with that. Uh, know that you can only control your message. You cannot control the media. <laughs> and so sometimes people want to make sure that you can control what the media publishes, but you cannot. Um, you cannot ask to review things. Sometimes people want to, you know, can I look at it before you publish it? They will tell you no. Um, a lot of times you're going to want to submit questions and say something maybe off lim limits if you have something maybe that, you know, is not a good look for your business. The answer is probably going to be no. Um, and so you just have to make sure that you stay on point and you control your messaging and know that at all times, anything that you say could be published so that you, you know, make sure you stay on message. Sometimes bad timing can be good timing. So media coverage can be slow during the holiday season, uh, late into the summer months. Um, it's not a bad thing for a company trying to uh, make an announcement. So, you know, media is always looking for content, even when it's slow. And so uh, I remember I was on Facebook, I think this past Christmas, and I saw like four of my media friends asking for people like who out there has a story like does anybody have a story somebody send me a story so when it's slow make sure that you get in there and get your pitch in there because it might be a good time for you to say yes uh weeks old information is not news so timeliness really is key um when trying to generate publicity sometimes it helps to connect your story with another news item we call that news jacking um and it's a great way to get media because they have to talk about that story anyway um, and so you might want to do that. Another thing that people forget about is exclusives still exist. So if you have an exclusive, that might up your chances of getting media. Uh, sometimes it's not your news. So plenty of companies have been uh, scorned in the media for trying to jump on the bandwagon of a story. So don't be one of those, but still consider your opportunities for coverage. Um, so you don't want to necessarily um, make it your story, but you do want to be a resource. So news jacking is about being the resource and not necessarily jacking the story. So make sure that you are clear on that. And then um, also, like I said, target a specific audience. You don't want to talk to everybody necessarily. You want to make sure that the media outlet has a fair makeup or, of um, your ideal client. I can't stress that enough. That's how you generate the revenue. Um, it's great to be on CNN. God bless it. It will you know, boost your visibility like nothing else. But it doesn't al always impact your revenue. And so you want to make sure that you're finding um, the outlets that have your ideal client in them so that you can do that because it really is all about the money. If not, it's just something else to do. So if you want to learn more tips about pitching, don't forget you can join me each week in the perfectpitchclinic.com. Um, it's updated weekly so you can see the, the, the new times, the new days and times that you can join. Um, and you're always welcome. This is how we put our pitches together. This is how we get feedback on our pitches and just learn some of the basic um, steps for pitching. So make sure you join me. You're always welcome. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell um, so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Share it with somebody you love. Share it with somebody who needs to grow their business or wants to get more media. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, make sure that you drop them below. All right, you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.